It's got a hook, but it really doesn't sink. Hey guys, this is my review for the Hookman episode of the first season of Supernatural. I was doing my retro reviews of the first season. I did take a little bit of a break, but I'm coming back now. Hookman, I thought, was a lot cooler when I first watched it. Now, admittedly, a few of you did point out that this episode isn't as good as it used to be, and I did see it. There were a few things that were interesting. The idea of using the Hookman legend, the urban legend, and all of the parts that would come to him, the people hanging uh, above a car, scratching the hand, the, the warning, the, the message, aren't you glad you didn't turn on the light, carved into the wall, those were cool. Also the idea of Sam and Dean actually doing actual research. Now all they have to do is Sam just uses his supercomputer to find anything. But when the show started, they actually had to do some actual bona fide research, like going through criminal records or going through church records and all this stuff. So that was kind of interesting, not riveting, but interesting to see how the show has evolved from this. But then everything else is kind of, eh, like they go to college and they make some jokes about it, but that was it. There was episodes that did this far later on, and yeah, the episode every time something interesting you would think would happen, it kind of just doesn't do that. Either it was a budgetary constraint, or there's they were trying to go for a joke, but it doesn't really hit, like when Sam and Dean are caught by the cops, and Dean uses the excuse that it was a hazing. And that's funny at first, but then when you think about it, you wonder how actually did they fall for that? And then there's the girl who plays the daughter of the preacher, the one who has the murders revolving around her. She is alright, but she's not great and her writing is really not the best either. Sam meets her a total of two times before she kisses him. The first time we saw there was maybe like a 10 minute conversation and then she sees him outside his her house after having an argument with her father just sitting there and she's totally cool the fact that he's totally stalking her so I don't know about you girls but I thought that was a little bit weird and how she just totally glazes over that however I will give the effects department a thumbs up for when the invisible claw scratches along the walls in the two parts near the end of this episode the first time it happens with the slow reveal, the slow turn of Dean, that was really, really cool. I remember being scared when I watched this episode, and I got a little bit of chills when re-watching it. But while the effects were cool, and the setup and using the urban legend was a nifty idea, the episode kind of falls flat. Some parts of this episode do still stand out to some people, even some of these moments are better than season 12 as David DeSimmons says. I don't think I would suggest Hookman to a new Supernatural fan as an awesome episode, however it is more enjoyable than many Supernatural episodes in the current season 12, especially episode 15. One of the scenes I still remember from the la from this episode was the hook scratching the car on the coupe. I thought that was, at the time, pretty cool and actually pretty frightening. However, some, like Kay Scruton, found that the urban legend use actually detracted from the episode. I didn't find the episode scary, not because it wasn't good, but because I knew that what was going to happen. This was a time when I was obsessed with urban legends. For instance, at the beginning, when the guy got out of the car, I thought, he's gonna get killed and be hung from the car, isn't he? And again, when Lori went to the room and didn't want to be disturbed by her friend by turning on the light, I thought, well, that girl's gonna be dead in the morning. I loved the effect when the hook man was coming, but all you could see was that trail from by, left by the hook. Also, this was the first time I had seen a ghost on, TV sh on a TV show and was being used to the salt and burn method, which I commend Supernatural for. So in the end, I'll give the Hookman episode a 3 out of 7. Is it a standout episode of Supernatural? Perhaps because of the fact that it used the urban legend, but in terms of actual quality, this isn't one of the better episodes of the first season. Thank you guys for watching this episode review. I do appreciate that. And as always, since episode 8, Bugs is coming up next. Please comment on what you remember about this episode, whether you liked it or hated it. I know a lot of people hated it. I didn't mind it at the time, but maybe watching it now will refresh my memory. But either way, guys, thank you again for watching. Please comment about what you liked about this episode, and then also what you remember or liked about Bugs. 
and I'll see you guys in the next one.